Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in a bit of a different setting. We are in my room, standing in front of my closet. And the reason why is because today we're going to be going through my entire closet and we're going to be decluttering it together. Or well, we're going to be doing the summer, my summer clothes. We're not going to be touching sweaters or like any of my winter clothes. But let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments once you watch it if you would like to see a winter edition of this. But yeah, today we're going to be focusing on the summer clothing only. Um, summer is already kind of gone I think practically so I already have like a good idea of like the stuff that I didn't wear the stuff that I did wear and stuff like that but I still want to go through it with you guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think there's a couple of things I'm going to be kind of unsure of and I'm also going to be trying some of this stuff on so stay tuned for that but anyway let's get into it so this is my closet um the way that it's kind of organized just so you guys kind of know is I'm gonna put my I'm gonna stand here I think it's a little bit better so I have some jumpers and like sweaters here that we won't be going through these are more like um like light ones and like transitional ones so we won't really be touching that we're gonna be focusing more on this side which is all of my dresses and kind of um other hanging bits and then over here we have some bottoms, here we have tops, and then that pile over there you kind of see we won't be touching either because it's just hoodies and like sweatpants and stuff, um, or at least some of them. So yeah, we're going to be focusing on this, and I have some shoes at the bottom. Not many that I'm going to declutter, but we'll still like go through those as well. So yeah, anyway, let's get started, shall we? So I think I'm going to start with the bottom. Part, like the hanging part which is again dresses and stuff um, and then I'll just move on to the tops and to the bottoms but let's start here so I'll just I'm just gonna go in order basically show you guys everything um, talk about the stuff a little bit and if I want to try it on then I'll include a, tr a clip of me trying it on so yeah okay so the first thing oh yeah this kid this is also part of the reason why I want to do this declutter because everything is like so tight right now but anyway so this is the first thing that I have hanging up this is a little corset top um I think you guys have seen this before in one of my Cezanne try-ons I know I tried on a pair of pants with this top so yeah but yeah this is a little corset top I really really love this this is from a Colombian brand called Sorel lingerie I think it is um yeah I have a couple of corsets from them that I'll show you guys in a second but yeah I love this one I believe this one's called the Emma stay corset it's really comfy it has like the adjustable like um lace lace up ties I think I don't know what you call this like the ribbon um and you can also adjust the ribbon here so you can like fully adjust it like to your bust and make it tighter make it smaller and then also this bit as well to like to, to your shoulder which I really love and again they're quite comfy they have like this little middle bit as well so they're not like super revealing but yeah I love this um I actually wish I wore it more sometimes I even forget that I have it and I just or I just don't think of it when I'm thinking about outfits but still I love this and I won't be letting this go just because I feel like it's so unique and I don't feel like I could get something like this again so so yeah I'm gonna be definitely keeping this um let me show you the other ones that I have I have two more so oh, this one's the next one that I have so this one is <laughs> quite particular um it's very different to the other one and it's definitely a piece that I really don't wear that much uh, I think I haven't even, have I worn this outside? Probably not. I have a short though here on my channel. Um, if, I'm, if I can find it, I'll leave it here. Um, where I do wear this, where I'm styling it with some Cezanne clothes actually for like fall winter. But yeah, this is kind of like, I don't know what you call this, like an under, I don't know. But it's not like a full corset. Like it's meant to be, let me just take off the hanger for a sec. 
it's meant to be kind of like like that like you're meant to wear it with something else and just have it be like like this and then like it just accentuates the breast area i used to wear this with a blouse that i had from zara which i decluttered <laughs> last time um so i don't have that anymore but i i think i can find something similar eventually and like start wearing this again but yeah i really like it i feel like it's really unique i love the i'll, I'll show you like closer up like the toile toile de jouy i think it's called um i love it and yeah it's quite a unique piece it's definitely not an everyday piece but i still love it and i'm still not going to be giving it away um or selling it anytime in the future for that same reason i just find it so so unique and this is from the same place by the way for from sorel lingerie um and then the last corset that i have from them is probably my favorite it's definitely oh sorry i'm having a little bit of trouble getting it out oh and the other one's falling down now oh no okay oh okay so this one is my favorite and it's the one that i've definitely worn the most this is also the first one that i had this one i got um a couple years ago now i think maybe even was it three years ago or two years i don't know but um a couple years ago i've had it and i just absolutely love this it's again from the same brand and i just adore it i feel like the colors look so well with me and i just adore it again it has the the um little ribbon although this ribbon is kind of different to the other ones the other ones is longer and thicker this one's like a little bit more dainty but i still love it it still has the same ribbon as well for the um like shoulders and like the straps and yeah i absolutely love this i've worn this so so much I actually wish I wore it more, but right now, so the skirt that I used to wear this with, which I will show you when we get to the bottoms, um, doesn't fit me anymore. And I have been on the hunt for something similar to replace it with that has, like, I want like a skirt that's like this color, like this burgundy sort of shade. Um, and I just haven't been able to find one, but yeah, hopefully I will for next summer or like next spring i can start wearing again because i absolutely love this this is probably one of my favorite things in my closet again it's just so unique and i just absolutely adore it i feel like i'm never gonna get rid of this um so yeah those were my corsets now everything else um that's hanging up is like some sort of dress but let's start with the first one that i have actually this is so annoying, I'm trying to get everything out from the closet. This is why I need to clutter because like this is getting ridiculous. Like it's a fight every time I have to get something out. But anyway, so this is the first thing we're gonna be talking about that I know for sure I'm gonna be selling. So this is my beautiful Zimmerman romper. Um, this is a size zero and unfortunately, it doesn't fit me anymore. I mean, I can still put it on, but like the bottoms are just way too short. Like it, it does not even cover my bum anymore, which I cannot go out in public like that. And yeah, I just feel like it's a bit more, it's a bit too revealing and I just don't feel comfortable wearing it anymore with, um, you know, everything. So yeah, um, unfortunately I am selling this one. You can find it in my Depop like right now because I already have it listed. So any if any of you guys are interested in it, um, you can find it there. I bought it from The Real Real like two, three years ago. And when I got it, I really liked it and I wore it, um, not a ton, but I feel like I, I gave it the love that it deserved. And yeah, now it's time for it to find a new home, but it's literally perfect. Like I'll just show you guys a little bit closer up like how it is. It's basically like, like that. And then the back is like backless. If I can find any pictures of me wearing this, I'll like include them here. So you guys have like an idea of how it looks on because I, I, I know that in the hanger, it doesn't look that great, but um, yeah, it's really beautiful. It's in 
perfect condition. And again, I am selling it, so if you guys are interested, click the link down below and you'll find it there. But yeah, um, I also saw this in like other sizes and I was wondering, not wondering, I was tempted um, to buy it in the size up for a bit. I also found it in the real real in the size one. Um, but I just thought against it, I feel like I gave this the love that it deserved and now I want to move on to other things. So yeah, the, this one can go back in my closet until it finds a better home. Um, let's see what we have next. Okay, so this dress is not unfamiliar to any of you guys here on my channel. This is my beautiful Reformation dress. I have worn this before on camera. Um, if I can find any of the videos where I have it, I'll leave it linked here so you guys can see it. I believe I wear it in my Week in Outfits video and also in my Cezanne Chiaretta dress review video just as a comparison um, because obviously this is not from Cezanne, this is from Reformation. But yeah, I absolutely love this dress. It's a little bit wrinkles right now because it just got out of the washing machine, but I love it. It's so beautiful. It makes me feel like a princess every time I wear it. It's so comfy. And yeah, I feel like I could never part with this. Um, and even if like, this is one of those dresses where even if this stopped fitting me, which I really hope it doesn't, um, I would buy it again in another size. Like that's how much I love it. It's so versatile, so, so comfy. It's really the perfect, summer dress and yeah I love it and I will not be getting rid of it so that can go back in there and so this one is an interesting one sorry that it's so wrinkled I don't know if you guys can see it on camera how wrinkled this is but it's quite wrinkled but this is a dress from Flossy by Freddie this is a brand by Freddie my love she is a youtuber or I don't know if she is or used to be. I mean, she doesn't really post that often anymore, but um, because she has this fashion brand, but um, yeah. She um, designs dresses now, and this is one of them. As you can see, it's really pretty, and I really like it. The problem with this one is mostly that it just doesn't fit me anymore. I mean, when I got it, it so this is also for reference, this is an extra small. And usually, most of my dresses that you'll see here are extra smalls and they fit me fine. This one, however, like the main thing is like the, the arms are like quite small. And since I've gained a little bit of weight, um, it just like, it, it does still fit in the sense that I can put it on, but it's like really tight. So it's kind of uncomfortable and I can't move my arms with it. And the bodice is also quite tight. So if you're like, smaller but like you're big chested i like th this would probably not work for you um but yeah this one i'm also selling so um you guys can also go to the link to the link that i'll leave down below to my depop and you can probably find it there this um was a limited edition collection she made they you can't find this anymore on her website so you can't purchase it anymore um so yeah if you guys are interested in it again i got this last summer and I wore it a couple times. It's literally perfect condition. Like right now it's a bit wrinkled, but um, it's literally perfect. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll leave it linked down below. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, this is an interesting one. So this dress is one of the dresses that I'm kind of unsure of. It looks really weird on the hanger. It looks like it has like huge straps but it's only because the back of this dress is kind of like corset, but um, I can't show you, like, I'll try and show you here, but like, you won't be able to see it because the like, it's all like, you know? But um, basically the straps are the same straps as the corset, so like, yeah. I'll, sh I'll put a picture of it like on the model here, like the back of like how it's meant to look like. But yeah, this is beautiful. This is a dress from Cezanne um, from last year. And the thing that drew me about this dress is the fabric. So I'll like bring it here closer so you guys can see. Like just look at that fabric. Like look how beautiful that is. So this dress I think I am going to be trying on for you guys. Just so you guys can give me a little bit more feedback. Because 
it's one of those that really, really, like, I'm always torn about. Like, I just don't know what to do because it's gorgeous, but it just doesn't fit me that well. Like, it's just one of those dresses where you put it on and, like, you can just see everything in it, like, but not in a flattering way. Like, you can see my tummy and my belly button and it's just, I don't know. But, like, I would like to keep it still because I love the fabric. But anyway, I'll just try it on for you guys and you guys can help me decide. Okay, so this is the next one. I got this dress from Cezanne last year. Um, it was one of their spring summer pieces. And the reason why I fell in love with it was the fabric. I'm gonna come a little bit closer up again so you guys can like see it. But this is, I don't know if you guys can see it, like, but it has like this really beautiful, almost like embossed into the fabric floral. And it's just like, just incredible. I had never seen anything like it. And I was just obsessed. I was like, I have to have this. I love this dress so, so much. Now, the only problem that I've always had with this dress, it's kind of like a conundrum, is that I love the fabric, but I don't like how it fits me. It's one of those dresses, just like the previous one, where you can basically see everything. <laughs> like, I know right now you guys can see like my tummy and my belly button, and that is not the look that I am going for. So that's basically like what I've always had kind of like against this dress. It's like every time, it's one of those things that whenever I see it in my wardrobe, I'm like, oh my God, it looks so beautiful. And then I go and like, I'm like, I'm gonna wear this for the day and I try it on and then I just end up taking it off and putting something on, something else on because I'm just not a fan of how it fits. I feel like it just hangs in like a really awkward way on my body. I feel like it's not really that flattering um, at all. And the reason why I'm kind of sure, although I'm not, let's say I'm 90% sure that I am gonna keep this at least for now, is just because I've always had this vision with this dress that eventually, so, okay, so let me start from the beginning. So one of the things that I would like to do um, kind of soon, but I just haven't been able to get to it, is learn how to sew. I wanna learn how to sew, I wanna learn how to make my own clothes, and I just haven't been able to do that, mostly for a lack of time. Like, I mean, I do YouTube as a hobby right now, but I would like to eventually be able to do it like as a living, like as my job, but right now I do have a full-time job. So with that and with like, you know, everything else in life and like doing this and everything, haven't been able to, to properly like sit down and learn how to sew. I know how to like um, hand sew certain things, but like not full items of clothing. I can like fix things um, if I need to, but I don't know how to do everything else. And I would like to. And so my vision for this dress is that eventually when I learn how to sew one day, and hopefully that same day is gonna be the day that I can um, do this as like my full-time job um, and make a living out of that because I would also have more time in my hands, um, I would take this dress and deconstruct it and make something else out of it with this fabric, which is beautiful and I love, but something that's actually flattering because right now I feel like, I mean, it's, it's just not, not doing it for me this dress like i mean it's so heartbreaking because it's gorgeous but it just does not look like it looks like on the model on me like in any way because also the back so let me show you the back real quick so the back of this dress is quite interesting as well so basically this is like the straps so like it's the same piece of fabric and it kind of ties in like this corset so you can kind of adjust it like how high or low you want it, how tight you want it, like around here, if you want it like a little bit more loose and then has like the zipper, which is also really unique. But again, there's no way, like I've tried wearing this dress so many different ways and there's no way that it looks like that flattering on me. So I think I'm gonna keep it for now for the fabric, but if it wasn't for the fabric, I would probably be selling this let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do, but this is what I think I'm gonna do with this one. Okay, so continuing on, 
This is the next dress. This one you guys have already seen on my channel before as well. This is my Cezanne Chiaretta dress. This is probably my favorite dress that I own. It's just so unbelievably gorgeous. I feel like it fits beautifully. If you want to see it like in a little bit more detail, I'll leave the video linked here so you guys can see it on. Um, but yeah, I love this and I am literally never giving this away. Like even the day that this sadly won't fit me anymore, I will still probably keep it and like just save it for my daughter or my granddaughter one day. Like this is how gorgeous I think this dress is and how like beautiful, unique because it has like the, the broderie anglais and the flowers. So yeah, I absolutely love this and I am never giving this away. Okay, so this next one is also a bit of a fail for me. Sorry that it's so wrinkled, by the way. This is one of those dresses that, first of all, you look at and, like, it basically just wrink wrinkles up. Like, it wrinkles up so easily. But anyway, this dress is a dress from Rouge, which is the brand by Jean de Mal, you know, the model. Um, and this dress I got secondhand from Etsy and basically when it arrived, it didn't fit me. So <laughs> it just isn't, it doesn't look that great or at least that's what I think it doesn't look that great. But yeah, I've never worn it outside. I believe the person said that they had never worn it as well when I bought it. So it's basically brand new. Um, I'm going to try it on for you guys just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like this just fits horrible, like horrible, horrible. You'll see it in the video now, but yeah, awful. So this is the next thing that I have to show you guys. And this dress I have known I'm going to be decluttering since the day that I got it. And I have been trying to sell it since I haven't been able to. This is a dress from Rouge, um, which is the brand, like the fashion beauty brand of Jean Lama, which is a French model. And the whole aesthetic of Rouge is kind of like French girl aesthetic. I've had a couple of other things from them and I just don't know what it is about their clothing, but like on the website, on the model, it looks gorgeous. But like when you get it, it just hangs in like the worst way possible. I'm probably not doing the best job of trying to like sell this dress um, to you guys. I think it's also just like my body type because like, I mean, first, first issue that I've had with this dress since I got it is that I got this dress secondhand from Etsy and at the time I thought that it would fit me and when I arrived it was too small and the girl didn't accept returns so I had to keep it and um, yeah. It, it just doesn't fit me like right now my breasts are like literally crying for help like they're like so squished like I don't know if you can see but like even like the the this thing is like not where it's meant it's like way too up it's like not where it's meant to be and like the fabric is just like basically invisible like I feel like you can see everything you can even see like my belly button and everything it just hangs in the worst possible way I think just on my body, like on me, I just feel like it's the most unflattering thing. And it was such a disappointment for me as well because I remember I've been looking at this dress and I've been like dreaming about this dress. It's just been on my mind for literally years. Like I don't remember which collection this is from, maybe like 2018 or 2017. But I remember back then I didn't live in like anywhere where I could get rouge and I also didn't have money. Um, because I was still in university, but, um, like I couldn't afford it, but, but I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, this is so gorgeous. And so I tracked it down once I had like money and stuff. And I was like, oh, one day I found it and I thought it was in my size and I got it, but it was just such a disappointment. Like, I mean, I feel like it would look nice on someone that was maybe slimmer. Um, and maybe what it hangs is like, because like, I feel like it like hangs to my hips in like a really weird way. And like, even if like when I turn, like, like, I don't know, it just looks so up, like horrible on me. I don't know if it's just like my bias toward it, but I just don't like this dress. Like from, I've never worn it 
since the day I got it. I believe the girl that got it originally, the Etsy one, has never worn it as well. So I feel like this poor dress has never been actually worn outside by a person. But yeah, if you guys are interested in it, because like the fabric is really pretty, like the print is like quite nice. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in it, I'll leave it down below. I don't remember what size it is right now, but I'll leave it like here. And yeah, this dress is an absolute fail, but yeah, let's try something else on and show you. Something that will make me feel a little bit better about myself. Now for this next dress. This is also another Flossie by Freddy dress. This one I got this summer and um, it's another one that I have doubts about. Like I will also be trying this on and showing you guys just so you guys can see what I like, what I mean. But it's just, I don't know, this one does fit. Like it is the correct size because I also got this one in a small this time around. But, um, I don't know. I, I love the fabric, though. I want to show you guys, like, kind of closer up. I don't know if you see it, but it has, like, this really beautiful kind of twinkle in the tweed, which just makes it look so pretty and, like, magical. And, yeah, I really like it. It's quite simple. It fits, like, I mean, fits comfortably. It's comfortable. But there's just something about it that I'm, like, not quite sure of. So, again, I'll be trying it on for you guys. Let me know what you think of it but yeah let me know and this dress is a little bit different to the ones i've shown you before i actually don't really own anything else like this i got this this summer this is my other flossy by freddy dress i want to say this is called the audrey dress or something i'm not sure this one actually does fit me it's a size small so i had to size up from the other one and even though I got this like two, three months ago, I've only worn it once. And it's also another dress that kind of conflicts me a bit because I love the fabric. And when I saw the pictures, and I mean, this happens to me a lot with the Flossy by Freddy collections. I've already spoken about this briefly, but like, I feel like whenever I see them on Freddy, like she looks gorgeous in them. And I feel like it makes sense because I think she said before that she makes the clothes with her body in mind or like with her and herself in mind. So obviously it would like look gorgeous on her. And she is, from what I understand, she's like really tall. I'm not. She's also like really skinny. And I mean, not that I'm not skinny, but like I'm not that skinny. Um, and yeah, I just feel like it doesn't look the same on me. Now... I've kept this so far because my boyfriend kind of likes it. He tells me like, oh, it looks fine on you, um, but I'm just not sure. I mean, like, it is quite plain and like quite classic, but I don't know. I do like the fabric though, so I'll like come a little bit closer and show you guys. So this is what the fabric looks like. I don't know if you guys can see like a natural lighting, but it does have like a little bit of like a sparkle to it, like running through which I like, is like part of the reason why I like this dress, especially like at night, it looks really cool, like sparkly, and I love that, but I just don't know if it's like worth it. Like, I don't know if it looks good on me, if it doesn't, like, what do you guys think? This is also like the back, it's like pretty plain. This bit is a little bit big on me, but um, I mean, I guess I could always kind of get it tailored but I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I'm kind of torn on this one as well. Like, I know I literally just got it, but like, I, the, the only thing as well with Flossy by Freddy is that uh, I'm, I don't live in the UK and they don't do free returns for anywhere. Like if I, because I've tried to return another, the first dress that I ever got from them, I tried to return and basically the return was gonna be more expensive than the dress itself. And so I was like, no, nah, it just isn't worth it. I'll just try and sell it. I still haven't been able to sell it. It's still on my Depop. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, but yeah, and I also had to pay duties for it, for it, which was, which kind of sucked. But yeah, I think the lesson here, like third dress in, third one's a charm. I think the lesson is I have to stop trying to buy clothes from Boss Boy Freddy because all of them I end up regretting or not being sure about them. So I think I just have to stop 
buying from them. But let me know what you guys think of this one. Like, because this one I'm still not 100% sure if I should declutter or keep it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, please. Help a girl out because I am desperate with this one. I literally have no idea what to do. And for this next dress, this one is probably the oldest dress that I own. This beauty is from Zara from, I believe like probably 12 years ago now, which is insane. Um, but yeah, I love this. This is my bell dress. That's what I used to call it because it reminded me of Beauty and the Beast and it's just gorgeous. Like I just feel like Zara doesn't make stuff like this anymore and like the quality is also not like this anymore like i mean this dress is 12 years old and it's still like literally perfect and i've worn it so much in the last 12 years and i don't know how it still fits me but for some reason it does and it's just gorgeous like even the back like i don't know if you guys can see that like but it's all like this and it has like these really cool kind of like like spikes as buttons like it's just so gorgeous and it obviously has the same like all going over the way here and i just love this dress like honestly it's so cool i like this dress has survived so many declutters and i think it will keep on surviving the declutters like i feel like this is one of those dresses that i just have to keep because i mean it's just so cool but so timeless but like so 2010s at the same time and yeah, I love it. So yeah, I don't know if I'll like try it on for you guys. Maybe I'll try it on for you guys just for the fun of it. But yeah, I love this dress. Okay, this one is not a dress. This is a romper. And um, this is also from Zimmerman. I bought this from The Real Real. I believe it was last year. Or maybe the year before but it still has the tag somewhere let's see where it's yeah here it is yeah it still has a tag and everything and i never wore it because it's too big on me especially like the top bit but um yeah i mean i i saw this and i was like oh that's so pretty and like i have nothing in this color but then again it's just one of those orders that was like secondhand stuff. They don't really accept returns and it didn't fit me and I couldn't send it back. So yeah, now I'm stuck with it. But I mean, I am selling it. So you can also like, if you guys are interested in this and want to purchase it, um, it will be down below. And just so you're for a reference, this is a Zimmerman size one. But yeah, it will be linked in my Depop. And yeah, I'll show you guys how it looks on. <laughs> even though it's gonna be quite uncomfortable for me because it's huge and I don't wanna flash you guys, but yeah, I will try it on now. Okay, now we're gonna be changing it up a bit because this technically isn't a dress, this is a romper. This one is one of those regrets that I have where I bought something that I couldn't return because this is also secondhand. This is from Zimmerman and I bought this on the Real Real and it still has the tag from the real real and everything i've literally never worn it like not even once outside because as you guys can see it kind of fits kind of awful on me and it's just so big like i'm trying to like really hard not to flash you guys but like this this bit like this is like so big it's like i feel like if i do the wrong move like literally like this will just like do like that and like flash everyone like it's ridiculous like how big this is like oh my god it's it's just the worst and this is like fully like backless but like it's not just backless it's just like it's backless but it's also like sideless like it's just it's just the worst it's just the worst like the worst for me <laughs> like not for someone else i feel like this would look really nice on someone that's taller that would have like a longer torso because that's the other thing. I have a really short tor torso, like I have long legs, but I have a short tor torso. And I feel like this is something that needs to be for someone that has a longer torso or that is at least taller. 
so that it fits properly but like this is just like it's so unflattering and I regret it so much and that's why this year I tried not to buy too much stuff because I was like I had so many <laughs> regret purchases from last year as I told you guys like I had to buy basically a whole new wardrobe because like my clothes didn't fit me anymore and I try to like slim down and stuff but I don't know what they put in food here in like America but like everything has like sugar in it like it's it's impossible to find food that doesn't have like chemicals it's like insane but anyway um yeah I I just like I've been trying so hard to find stuff like for the last couple of years that would like fit me and like look good on this like new body weight that I have but it's just it's been so hard it's been so hard like everything is just like really unflattering or it hangs really horribly or I don't know if I just don't know how to dress myself I always used to think that I knew how to dress myself but like apparently I don't because yeah then I get stuff like this which looks great on the model and I used to not have a problem with looking at the model and being like oh that looks great you'll probably look great on me but like now I do have that problem so anyway this is also my depop if any of you are interested I know I'm probably not making like justice to any of these items that I'm selling because they look awful on me and I'm aware of that but like hopefully they will look better on you and if you're interested again link down below but yeah I think I'm gonna try on something now that I actually like just because yeah this one's really hitting me in the self-esteem truly this next dress is another one from Cezanne and it's the same print as my beloved Kira's dress. This one is, I don't remember the name of this dress actually, but I'll leave it on the screen here if I can remember it or if I can like look it up. But it basically looks like this and it's quite pretty. It has like these really pretty sleeves and then the back is like backless. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, it's backless and then it has like a bow in. And this one I know already that I'm selling and I already have it listed as well if you guys want to shop it. Um, but yeah, I unfortunately just have not worn this. I think I wore this once and I kind of forced myself to. And yeah, I am going to be trying it on for you guys so you guys can see it like how it looks on. But yeah, it's just one of those dresses that I gave it like another year this summer being like okay if I don't wear it now like I'm definitely selling it because I know for sure I'm not gonna be wearing it again and unfortunately you didn't pass the test because it's so pretty and I feel like it would look gorgeous on someone else but it's just I just I don't know if I just don't have anywhere to wear it or I mean even if I did I would probably choose something else but yeah so let me try it on for you guys so you can see for yourselves so this is the second dress, the one that I am selling, um, that is also from Sun in the yellow print that I mentioned to you guys. I don't remember the name of, the, or like the style of this dress, so I will leave it here for you guys, but I bought it at the same time that I did last one and the next one that I'm going to show you. Um, and at the time, I remember I wasn't sure about it, but I ended up keeping it just because I loved the other two so so much and they're all kind of different from each other like they're different styles and everything but at the end of the day like i just wore it once last summer and i kind of forced myself to wear it then and then this summer i haven't wear it, worn it like any day and i don't honestly see myself wearing it like i just feel like it makes me look like old and it kind of like swallows me whole and everything so um, yeah, and that's why I decided to kind of sell it, but it's literally been only worn it once. It's like in perfect condition and it's quite nice. Like I feel like it would be like really flattering on someone, on someone else, maybe not on me, but it has like these really pretty sleeves with like the elastic here and it's all like A-line and then the back is also really pretty. It has like this, this bit which has the zipper and then it has like an open back and then this bow that I mean I did mine kind of rushed but um imagine like a prettier bow but yeah that's kind of what it looks like and yeah again if you guys are interested in it um this is also in size 33 34 sorry by the way which is basically an extra small in Cezanne if you guys are interested in it it's currently linked on um 
are currently listed on my Depop, so make sure to check that out if you are. I do take offers as well, so yeah. Now, the next dress and the next couple of dresses actually are all kind of like the same style but different font. And one of them is also in that same Ella print that I just showed you guys from Zazan. And it's this one. This is the Caprice dress um, from Zazan. I've also worn this before on my channel, so you guys have probably already seen this, but I love this dress. I've worn it so, so much since I've gotten it, and there is no way that I'm parting with it. It's just so cute, so comfy, so flattering. It's like so, one of those like dresses I can wear a lot during like spring, in those days where it's just kind of chilly, but not like super chilly. Like, I don't need to wear necessarily a jacket, but it's also too cold to just go in, like, a sundress. I can wear something like this, and it's just gorgeous. So, yeah, I absolutely love it. And I have a couple of other dresses that are quite similar to this. So, the most similar one is this one. This one's also from Cezanne. It's a little bit wrinkled. <laughs> it just got out of the washing machine. So, sorry about that, but... Yeah, this one, I'm not sure the name of it, but I'll leave it here if I remember it. But yeah, it's just gorgeous. I also love it for like those type of days. This one is kind of like my fall edition of the other dress, um, but I just love it. I love the patchwork. I feel like it's so unique and it kind of has like Zimmerman vibes, which I love. But this one I got last year, so you can't really get it anymore. But I'm so happy I got it. And I also got it in a longer version. So this one's a short one. And the buttons go kind of all the way up and it also has this um, tie that you can put in the, like the waist and make like a bow of it. And then I also got it in a longer version which is kind of the same but slightly different. This one you guys have absolutely seen me wear before um, in my weekend outfits video. But yeah this one's kind of the same one. It has the same print or well the same fabric it has like the tie as well but this one has like a v-neck and it's longer and i wore it i wear both of them so so much like i'm actually surprised at how much i wear them but i love them i've worn this like traveling it's 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 incredible i wear it so so much i absolutely love it and this one's also a little bit wrinkled but i'll show you guys a close-up of the fabric so you can see isn't that just gorgeous like that you know kind of like patchwork of different lace fabrics or like yeah I love it so yeah I got those which are all quite similar and I wear them for like that same purpose and then there is also this one which I also got recently I got this this year and I also have a video where I actually show this for the first time where I got it like the haul for this so I'll also leave it linked for you guys and yeah i love it i still love it as much as i did in that video and i've worn it so much this is probably one of my most most worn pieces for the summer and i know i'm going to continue to wear this a ton during fall again during those like really cool like cooler days where you like don't want to wear like a full-on like sweater or something it's like too hot for that but it's also too cold to just wear like a sundress. This is perfect. This is perfect for like running errands to go to supermarket, like do so many things. I love it and I wear it so, so much. And I love the embroidery. Like just has like a bunch of beautiful, like Greek goddess motifs in it, which I love. And this just reminds me of Call Me By Your Name, which is one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite books. And yeah, it just makes me so, so happy every time I wear it. And I've been complimented on this so many times and like stopped and asked like, oh, where did you get that? So many times. So yeah, absolutely love it. I've also had like the same amount of compliments for the other dresses I just showed you. But yeah, I love this baby so, so much. So I am absolutely not getting rid of any of those. And now we're kind of going into my sequin part of my wardrobe. So let's start with this dress. This dress is very, oh, it's kind of stuck. It's very dear to me. Oh, there we go. This is my mermaid birthday dress. 
I love this dress. I've had it for so many years now. Um, this actually was a gift from one of my aunts and this is from Zara. Again, when Zara used to make like better clothing, but like look how fun that is. Like, look at that. It has like these really big ones and they're so sparkly and like amazing. Ah, I love it. And like the velvet straps. This one's also like longer and it has like a slit on the side. But yeah, I love this dress. I, I kind of call it my birthday dress because almost every year I wear it for my birthday. I mean, I've worn it, I know, for like at least three birthdays since I've gotten it, but I just love it so much. It makes me so happy. It does sound a lot, like it's a noisy dress. Like people will hear you coming in this dress, but I love it. Like, look, do you guys hear that? But it's amazing, incredible. I love this dress and it makes me so happy. I'm absolutely keeping it. Next up in my sequin dresses, we have one that isn't as loud, but is equally as stunning. This dress is from Karl Lagerfeld and I got it years ago as well. Um, this was a gift from my grandmother and um, yeah, I love it. I've worn it so, so much. And this is actually fun fact little teaser here if i do end up going to the air store which i pretty positive i am because if i'm not i don't know what i'm gonna do with my life um this is what i'm gonna be wearing i'm gonna go as fearless which is one of my favorite um albums of hers and also like the fearless was the album when that came out in 2008 was the one that made me like fall in love with taylor swift so i feel like it's only fitting for me to go as fearless so and i already have this dress which i feel i feel like it's pretty much like spot on to like what she wears and fearless and what she wore on the original fearless tour i'll also put like a picture of her wearing like a very similar one during the original fearless tour but yeah this was this would be what i would wear to the era store i'll also do like a little close-up for you guys so it has like all these sequins and it's just incredible it's so beautiful it's so art deco so like the Greek Gatsby I love it and then the back is just completely just gold kind of like that and yeah again I love this so much I am never parting with it okay and then we actually have a skirt which is uh, Oh no, one of the sequins is caught on, okay, there we go. Okay, so this, I'm actually gonna have to take off the hanger to like kind of show you guys. This is a skirt that I got from Zara, um, maybe two, two years ago, yeah. I think it was like two years ago or something in London, like in the UK, or I was in the UK when I got this. Um, and yeah, I love this skirt. It's so gorgeous, but unfortunately I've never worn it. And it's mostly because I have nothing to pair it with. Like, can you guys see that? Like, look how gorgeous that is. Like, oh, I die. Actually, I could also wear this to the era store, kind of. Kind of do like a speak now moment. But the thing is that, the, the thing that's always torn me about the skirt is that there was, they did the skirt, which is gorgeous, but they never did like a matching top to go with it. Or like nothing similar at least nothing i could find in store or online when i got it and yeah it's like it's also such like part of the reason why i love this skirt is because it's such a unique color like this is like a bronze champagne sort of shade which i feel like you don't see much of especially in sequins and i've never been able to find a top to go with this like never so if you guys also have any suggestions or where, of where i can look Please let me know because I have been dying to wear the skirt ever since I got it and I've never been able to and it like genuinely upsets me. Like every time I see it, I'm like, oh, it's so gorgeous. Why can't I wear it? Um, but yeah, I love the skirt so, so much. I find it so beautiful, so unique. Again, like, oh, look at that. Like, isn't that just like such a dream? Like, I just, I die. But yeah, fortunately, I don't have... 
another thing to go with it and unfortunately when I got it and I realized that there was like nothing to go with it and I looked online when I got back home here to um, Canada and I also was like okay there's genuinely nothing to go with it on Zara I was like I thought like for a moment like you know what I'll do I'll just buy another one and then make the other one like into a top like like go to my tailor back home and make something like have her make something for me out of the same fabric that would be like a top and I would design it but when I did that when I went to look for another one to buy they were sold out so that has been the tragic story of this skirt but hopefully one day hopefully one day I can track one down like I would literally even buy this like second hand just for the fabric just for the sequence and for like everything just to make a top for this so I can wear it but yeah I'm desperate so hopefully one day I'll be able to do that but for now I can just love this and admire it from afar hopefully it will get used one day but yeah I love 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 the skirt it's just so so gorgeous it's amazing okay moving on Okay, now we have my other Kirata dress from Suzanne. This one I also showed in my video. I've actually featured this in two videos, I think, because I did a haul for Suzanne where I tried this on. I think it was my first ever Suzanne try-on haul. Um, so you can see it on in that one, in that video, and then also in the Suzanne Kirata dress video, obviously, um, this is one of the ones I showed. Um, but yeah, I love this dress. I got it this year in spring and I've worn it so so much especially now that it's like the end of summer I feel like this is the perfect transitional dress from summer to autumn because it has the autumn colors it makes me like feel like oh we're already kind of in autumn but it's also just like a summer dress as well and I love the shade I don't have any dress in this brown kind of color and I feel like it kind of suits me really well so yeah, I absolutely love this. I've worn it so, so much and I am definitely going to be keeping it. Okay, so next dress is also quite a unique one for me and oh, it's stuck. Oh no. Okay, there we go. This dress is to me just an absolute work of art. And I feel like you guys would never believe where this is from. This is from Zara. Yep, this is from Zara from like maybe three to four years ago maybe. It was like during the pandemic I think. And this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dress is just one of my favorite things that I own. Like it's just incredible. Like the back of it is also like the same. I actually wore this dress to the Harry Styles concert um, to Love on Tour so it also has like really great memories for, for me. I wore it to one of my graduation parties um, when I graduated university. Um, I have worn it so so much. I don't wear it as much anymore mostly because um, it's it fits kind of tight now but it's one of those dresses I'm going to hold on to no matter what because I feel like I could pass this on <laughs> to my daughter um, one day or my granddaughter. It's just so unique and I'm also hoping that like I would lose weight and I would actually be able to wear this again. And yeah, I absolutely just love it. Like it's such a dream of a dress. Look at that. Like look how gorgeous that is it's just incredible and i don't have anything else in my wardrobe that's like silver so this dress i am obsessed with yeah okay so this dress is actually it was actually my mother's um this is a really gorgeous kind of vintage i mean it's vintage now i guess because it was my mom's but um, I think this is like 90s, maybe, um, cocktail dress. This used to be, ooh, what happened? Why am I going out of focus? Okay. This used to be a cocktail dress that was longer, 
but I actually got in shortened. I have like a party. Why is it getting out of focus again? No. Okay. I had a party, like a cocktail party that I was attending, like an event. I, why? Okay. And um, my mom loaned me this dress, but it was so long on me. It looked a little bit awkward because also my mom is taller than me. And she was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to wear it again. So like you can just cut it and like keep it. And I was like, great. So obviously I just got it like to, I went to my tailor and like got it fitted for me. Why is it coming in and out of focus? That's so annoying. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, so I got it fitted for me and the back of it looks like this. It's like, it has like an open back and then it has like this satin bow in the back. It's one of those dresses that kind of reminds me of like something that the mother and the parent trap would wear. Like just so timeless and elegant and it fits like a dream. Like you guys have no idea. Like I'll wear it, I'll put a picture of me the last time I wore it in here. Um, but like it just fits beautifully. I feel like the tailoring is just impeccable. Like it's one of those really elegant timeless pieces that like you could wear like right now you could have worn it like in the 90s and the 2000s like doesn't matter um so yeah absolutely love this i'm sorry about um the focus coming in and out on the other dress i don't know if it was because the dress is kind of dark but i tried everything i tried refilming the clip and it would not like budge but anyway let's move on to some of my other dresses we're kind of nearing the end now okay so this one is also one of my favorite dresses that I own. I feel like it's so unique. This is from Cezanne from their collab with Farm Rio. And it's just literally like perfection in a dress. Like it's the most tropical dress, incredible, beautiful ever. And I love it. And yeah, I would never be able to part with this dress. Like, look, like just look how gorgeous that is. Like, look at that. Like. I've seen so many different like dresses and like skirts and shorts and tops would do that try to do this sort same sort of print like the whole like like fruit thing but this one is by far my favorite one I've ever seen and it also the dress also has like a slit here which makes it quite comfy but yeah it's just perfection like in every single way I absolutely love it just like I absolutely love this next dress. This is fairy tale princess, incredible dress. This dress is from Doan. It's the only thing that I own from Doan right now, but I would definitely like to in the future buy some more stuff from them. I'm actually thinking of doing a Doan like fall wish list video. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that. Um, but yeah, I love this dress so much. Like, I mean, well, this gown almost. I mean, it's just incredible. Absolutely love it. Look at the fabric. Like, it's just incredible. And I have nothing like it. I've never seen anything like this dress. And yeah, it's just so comfy as well. Incredible. Love it. So, so much. Okay, and now for the last couple... Um, I have these, these two just like really plain basic black dresses. This one's the first one. It's just like a very basic like black dress. <laughs> um, it has kind of like a, like a ribbed, what do you call this? Like, like, like elasticated top. This is from Aritzia from Wilfred. Um, and yeah, it's quite simple, quite like you know, classic, comfy. It has like the nice little bow detail on the sleeves. But yeah, nothing too crazy with that one. And the other little black dress that I have that's like quite plain. Oh, uh, no, it's like getting stuck everywhere. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Is this one from Zara. Um, this I got a couple months ago, so I got this year, and, oh no, don't tell me it's gonna focus again, but yeah, it looks like that, um, I don't think you guys can see, like, the details of it, but basically, 
it kind of makes it different is that it has like these, I don't know if you guys can see, like these like pleats going down that like then turn into like the skirt. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It just has like a scoop neck. But it's really flattering when it's on, and I just found that it was quite cool, like unique, but simple. So yeah, quite like it. I like how it fits as well. And then for the final dress, we've got this, this one. Oh, which is a bit of a wild card, if I say so myself. This dress, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> well, not upside down, it's like reversed. This dress is from Cezanne from last year. This is from their editions collection. So this is like their fancy like wear ones. It looks like that. This is like a full on like floor length gown basically on me. And it has the same sort of pattern fabric as the cream one that I showed you guys and that I tried on. Um, but this one's like one shoulder and obviously it's like purple. But yeah, I wore this last year to my brother-in-law's wedding and I haven't worn it since, obviously. <laughs> and I don't think I will. Like, I think even if I have like another wedding next year or something, I would probably prefer sell to sell this and then like use that money to buy something else. So this one I am also selling right now on my Depop. I will try it on for you guys so you see how it looks on. Um, but yeah. I am selling it, so if you guys are interested, again, link is down below, but yeah, let me go ahead and try it on for you guys. So this dress is from Cezanne. I got it last year, um, and I wore it for my brother-in-law's wedding. Um, so, I mean, since it is a bit more of a formal dress, I just obviously don't have anywhere else to wear it to. I didn't have any weddings this year. And I don't know, I doubt that I would wear this exact same dress to another wedding in the future. So that's why I've like considered selling it. Like I'd rather sell this and with that money get something else for another wedding, a wedding than like to keep this one in particular. I also found this dress like super last minute for the wedding. And even though I like it and it was comfortable and it did the job, I'm not like obsessed with it. Even though it does have the same kind of fabric than the one that I showed you guys before, the one that had like, you know, the, the pale one. But the color is the, the only thing that I'm like, you know, I wouldn't really like keep this dress for this fabric in this color. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Should I keep it or should I just sell it? I mean like right now it's a strong Depop, so if you guys are interested, you can get it. This is size 34, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the battery kind of ran off, so I had to go charge my camera again. But we have a full battery now, so let's continue. So now that the dresses are all done, we're going to be going into tops and bottoms, which are in my top shelf. So I'm going to get them down, and I'm going to put them on the bed, and we're going to go through all of them. So yeah, I have a little bench thing here because I'm not tall enough to reach it so let's start with the tops I think so let me get this oh take these all down okay so let's start one by one so the first one and the top this is actually new I got this this year um, a couple months ago actually from Aritzia. It's this little body um, which is really cute. I like that it has like a square neckline and yeah it's pretty basic tank top but I realized that I didn't really have a tank top like this and I kind of wanted one so yeah that's why I got this but I am definitely going to be keeping it. This one is from Babaton and it's an extra small. So yeah, pair this with everything. And this also not like pure white, as you can see, like especially against my t-shirt. This is like a off-whitey beige, which I like. It also kind of complements a lot of stuff really well. So yeah, this one I am absolutely going to be keeping. Next thing on the list, 
This one is a tricky one for me. So this top you guys have seen before on my channel. This is my beautiful Zimmerman top. I got this last summer from The Real Real. And I love this top and I would absolutely keep it if it weren't for the fact that it doesn't really fit me that well right now. So it does fit, but I struggle a lot to put it on. This is a Zimmerman size zero, by the way. But yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous. I love the way it looks, but it's just such a hassle <laughs> to put on and off that um, I think I'm gonna keep this for now and I'm gonna see if I am able to like lose a little bit of weight by next summer and this will fit. But if it doesn't, then I'm probably going to sell this one and buy try and hunt down and buy the same top but in a like a bigger size like a size one so yeah but i absolutely love this and i would absolutely recommend it i feel like it goes with so many things it's one of my favorite tops i love it so yeah this one is i'm gonna be keeping for now but we shall see um okay so next one is another one of my favorites and it's this little pretty top from Farm Rio. I also got this last year and actually got this as a bit of an impulse purchase last year but it's kind of surprised me how much I've worn this. This is probably one of my most worn tops if not my most worn top at least of the summer. I love how versatile it is. I love how unique it is as well. It's like this really cute pretty kind of cropped one, it has like this really cute big balloon sleeves that have like the elastic here and this really cute little buttons at the top. So this is basically like a really small prop top. Like this is basically a bra <laughs> with like big sleeves and it's just the cutest. I love it. You guys have also seen me wear this in a couple of different videos, but I think I for sure wear this in my week in outfits video, so I'll leave it. I think I've already left it linked somewhere in this video. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it linked down below if you guys want to go watch it or you can just find it in my channel. It's not that old. Um, but yeah, love this top. Never letting it go and it still fits me perfectly. So love that. I have a lot of white tops, but it's just like I, have, I feel like I have more colorful pants and then white tops to pair with them. But anyway, this is another one of my favorite tops um, ever. I have worn this a couple of times this summer. I wish I would have worn it more, but I just didn't have many occasions to wear it. But this is this gorgeous linen crop top from a Colombian brand called New The Label and have an entire um, video that I did about them. The rest of the tops I'm going to show you now are also from the same brand, but this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. I feel like it's just so unique. Like, it just has this ruffle over here, and then it just goes down. It just gives so much movement to the outfit. It's amazing. I love it. And this one's I have in an extra small. I feel like, I think you can't get this anymore, but uh, it's so gorgeous. I am absolutely keeping it. Plus, I bought this this summer, so... It's literally brand new. Okay, so the next one is also from the same brand. And let me try to like close it up so you guys can see it a little bit properly. This is basically one of these sort of vest tops that were like really popular this summer. Um, actually don't see many that much anymore. I feel like this was a very short-lived trend. And I'm actually not usually a person that kind of... Um, buys trendy things but just these I really really liked. I liked this one specifically because obviously everyone had them so yeah this one's also from the label. These are 100% linen all of them and this one's also an extra small and like something I really liked about this one was not only like obviously that it's gorgeous but the back is completely backless which is quite cool. Um, so yeah I feel like this one I wore so, so much during the summer. I am probably going to be wearing it again next summer, even though it's not going to be that trendy, but I still love it. So yeah, 100% love it, recommend it. And this one's also in the video that I'll link here. 
Um, so yeah, you guys can see how it looks on there. So this one is another one from New The Label. And this one's very hard to kind of show what it looks like without it being on, but it's basically like a halter neck sort of triangle bandeau sort of top. This one is so cute. It's so flattering. It's a little bit wrinkled right now because of, you know, the linen, but the way that it closes is basically on the side it has these ties and you basically can do like a little bow with them and it's so, so cute. Again, if you guys want to see it on, I'll leave the, li the video linked down below. Um, and yeah, again, love it. Absolutely adore it. I feel like the ties thing makes it a little bit more trendy, but other than that, I feel like this, this top is pretty timeless, so definitely going to be keeping. And then the last top that I have from you, the label, is this one, which is a little halter neck one. And it's also, it also has the same vibe as the um, previous one, not the triangle one, but the one before, where it's like one of those corporate looking, but like fun tops. So this one's a little bit like a mini vest almost um it just has three buttons and smaller it's a halter neck and um the back is also really pretty it's basically like a low low back like that you guys can see it in my video again but yeah i also love this so definitely going to be keeping okay so next one this one's very very different for me this one um i got my mother-in-law got for me it at Zara, but it's really cute. I also wore it a couple of times during the summer. It's very different from what I usually wear, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, it's just this really easy, relaxed, kind of beachy top, and it has this little tie thing. So yeah, pretty cute. Of course, I'm gonna keep it. So yeah, oh, this thing got. Oh no. Yeah, so kind of can look like that and I just wear it with like white shorts whenever I do and like white linen shorts and it looks pretty cute and also like going to like the beach something like really relaxed this is great for so I'm also going to be keeping that okay so this next this next top is very very special for, to me it's probably my oldest top ever I got this when I was 14 I think. I think my parents got this for me when I was in for my 14th birthday and I'll just like do you guys look at like look at how beautiful that is. I feel like this top is very much like you can tell which year it was from because back in like early 2010s like 2011 2012 um this whole sort of top was everywhere. Everyone had one it was just the best, but this is just so beautiful to me. It's so special. And I kind of, I don't know if it's because I'm biased and like my teens were in the 2010s. So like I feel kind of like I love 2010s fashion, but I just do. And I feel like you can't find stuff like this anymore. So I, and it still fits <laughs> and everything. So I don't wear it really that often. I did wear it once this summer, um, but I just love it. I kind of let it go. I feel like it's just such a gorgeous top and yeah i can like look at those details because i don't know if you guys can see like really close up but like the lace also has like these like pearls going through and stuff and it's just gorgeous i love it i love it love it love it and then the back is in very tight 20 ton style it's like kind of like sheer sheer kind of um but yeah i love this so yeah i am absolutely going to be keeping this i will probably always keep this forever this next one is also a pretty old one this one i got probably i think when i was 15 maybe or maybe 14 as well but i i know i got this for like a party like i had a party and i have the skirt that i love but i fortunately don't have anymore because it doesn't fit me anymore so i kind of gave it away but um i bought this top specifically to go with that skirt but I just love it. I got this in the, like a boutique um, back in my hometown and it's so cool. Like I still sometimes like to wear this to this day. So it's like this halter neck top that has like these really cool like fringy, fringy bits. Some of them are metallic, some of them are like fabric. 
and then obviously like the whole like collar is like that and then the back is longer than the front and it has like a bit of volume and stuff in it it's like so pretty like look at that like so gorgeous i love it and i wear it still sometimes going out to dinner and stuff with different things so yeah absolutely gonna be keeping it not gonna let it go and i also feel like it's very unique like even back then i never really saw anything like that top so yeah love it this one is um actually it was my mom's i think when from like the early 2000s or like the 90s and yeah it's this little cami top I feel like it's very like from that time period it's it has like these like lace bits and then like normal bits going through it um, I wore it a ton a couple summers ago this summer I haven't worn it yet but I feel like it's really pretty and again I feel like it's kind of unique so yeah quite simple to put on just with like um, white shorts or something so always good to have those types of tops this one is also i feel like kind of in that same vein but this one is um from zara from years ago this is 100 percent silk and it's this little beautiful kind of like lingerie cami, cami sort of top i bought this when i was about to go into university for my first day of university so this one's also kind of old i've had it for like maybe like eight years now um over eight years maybe yeah and I literally wore this, I think, on my first day ever of university. I remember I wore this with some white, like light blue skinny jeans and some like pink sneakers that I had. Um, but yeah, this is the back, which I've always really loved. It has like these buttons, which I love in anything. So yeah, love it. I'm also going to keep it. I feel like there's not really anything that I'm probably gonna declutter from my tops. I don't really have that many anyways um, because I wear mostly dresses in the summer, but anyway, let's go through them. Well, let's, let's finish them. We're only like three away from finishing. Um, this is another top. This I got also years ago when I was in university. Um, this is from Stradivarius, which is a brand that it's kind of like Zara, but you, there isn't one here or in the US like um, it's like in a European thing and we have them in Latin America but we don't have them in the US for some reason um, but yeah it kind of so this this bit here kind of ties up into kind of like that so it's kind of it looks wonky here but I swear it's really pretty on it's one of the most flattering tops probably that I've ever own to this day like I just love it love it love it uh, I know there was a dress version of this when it came out and I've always regretted the fact that I didn't get it and then when I was like oh I'm gonna get it now they were sold out of it so yeah I'm absolutely keeping this because I'm not gonna live with that regret again but yeah I love that okay this one I am actually selling currently on my depop so let me show you guys <laughs> So this top is interesting. It has a backstory. This top is from Zara from a couple of years ago. Um, so basically I was in the UK, I was in London and I went to the Zara on Oxford Street or one of the ones on Oxford Street and I bought a couple of things. One of the things was this top. I felt like it was really pretty and I was like, oh, that looks so cool. It looks cool to like party in, you know, I love the color. I was like, oh my God, yes. And I was also with someone else and they were like, oh my God, yeah, it looks great, get it. And I was like, oh yeah. I never tried it on in the store though because we were kind of running late to something else. And so I just bought it and I wasn't able to return it afterwards and I couldn't return it here either. So I was basically stuck with it. So the problem with this top is that it, like, if I wear it, like, half of my breast would be out. So I, again, I'm only a pretty petite person, but I also have, like, really narrow, like, shoulders, I think. Like, like there's, like, not enough space between my shoulder and, like, you know, my front area. So 
Unfortunately, this doesn't fit and I can't try it on either for you guys because of that reason, but trust me. <laughs> um, it's just, yeah, it's unfortunate, but I am selling it right now. It doesn't have the tag anymore, unfortunately. I don't know what happened to the tag but because I've never worn this out. I've never worn it ever, but like for some reason it doesn't have the tag, but yeah. So if you guys are interested in this one, it's in my Depop, so you can have a look there. Okay, and then we're down to the last two ones. So this one is a tank top. It's from Zara, it's pretty basic. Um, this was also a gift from my mother-in-law, but yeah, it's pretty basic, good tank top to have. So yeah, gonna keep that. And the last one that we have for tops is this little tiny thing, which you would be like, what even is this? This is, um, a top that was also my mom's from like the 2000s, 90s. And it's basically like a, a bandeau top, but it's like, it has like a very slight like triangle to it. So like, it kind of looks like that. And then the back of it is just like this tiny strap. So it's pretty, pretty out there. I did wear it a ton during like, just when the pandemic was coming to an end. Um, I do wear a ton then, like end of 2020, 2021, with like jeans or something. It was like pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I haven't worn it since. Still, I feel like I would like to keep it because you never know. Like, I feel like this is one of those tops that's really good for like going to like clubs and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it for that reason. So anyway, those are all the tops. So there's only one going into the declutter, which was this one, which is pretty good, I think. Um, considering I don't have that many tops to begin with. Um, so yeah, let's get down to the bottoms and we can sort through those. I'm not gonna take down all of them because some of them I wear in like fall. Ooh, now this pile is definitely bigger than the other pile. It's definitely heavier as well. But anyway, let's go through it together. So first things first, my beloved Zimmerman shorts. You guys have seen me wear these um, in a couple of videos already. And I just love these. These I actually bought because I have two pairs of Zimmerman shorts. These are the ones that I currently wear um, the most. These are size one. And I got these secondhand from the Real Real, but they're they're basically perfect. Um, so yeah, I love them. I wear them so so much in the summer. It's probably one of the things that I wear the most, or the bottom that I wear the most. Period. But yeah, love these. I am never gonna getting rid of those. The next ones are my other pair of Zimmerman shorts, which unfortunately don't fit me anymore. But they're just so pretty that I've always kept them in the hopes that. If I do lose weight, I can wear these. These are size zero. And these I got first than the other ones. And they're just beautiful. They're like the same style, but this one has like polka dots in the, the fabric. Again, I've worn these a ton, but I wear the other ones more just because the other ones fit me better. But if I like slim down a little bit next by next summer, I would probably wear these more. Like. I like these ones better than I do these ones. So let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. So as you see, this one has like the polka dots. This one's just plain. And then the little hoop scalp thingies also are plain and this one's have the polka dots. So they're both gorgeous. But, um, yeah, it's just a sizing thing. So next ones is my other pair of white shorts. These ones are linen also but these are from new the label which are the same as the a bunch of like the white tops that i showed you this is the same colombian brand i also tried these on in that video that i did for them so you can watch them there in action these are a little bit more plain than the similar ones but i still love them and i still use them i use them a lot with stuff from the same brand um but yeah they're just very comfy plain ones look like that and then the back kind of looks like this but yeah love them wear them a ton so the next thing is a pair of pants 
from that same brand from New the Label. These are just white linen pants. Like, I go all the way down. And again, I love these. I wear them so, so much. The back is literally the same. These are 100% linen. And yeah, love these. Um, and I'm also, by the way, just so you guys have a reference, a size small in bottoms for the new, for new the label, and then in tops, I'm an extra small. Okay, next thing, my jeans. I don't really have many jeans, I just have two pairs of like denim. These are one of them. These are actually new. I bought them literally like two months ago or something when I was in Colombia. These are from a Colombian brand called Waimari. Um, they did a collab with Falorela, which is like a department store that we have there. Um, and these were just gorgeous. So they look like normal white jeans, right? But they're not because the bottom is what's actually special. So the bottoms are like scalloped and it has this beautiful, let me show you properly, this beautiful like flower embroidery with also, um, with like, I don't know what you call these, but like, it's not like, it has like, like pearls, like faux pearls and like these little things all around them that makes them a little bit, not sparkly, but it just gives them a dimension. So these are gorgeous. I've worn them so much, even though I got them like two months ago, I've already worn them a ton. And yeah, they just look like that. This is the, this is the back, pretty standard, but yeah. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love them. Like, they're just the best. And again, I've worn them so much. I can't wait for next summer to wear them again. And like, I probably could still wear them during fall a little bit and definitely during spring. So love that for me. Okay, next pair of pants. This one um, I showed actually in one of my videos. This one's from Suzanne and I don't remember the name of these ones, but these were part of the spring collection. And these are just this beautiful pair of like crochet pants. Like they are just so cool and so comfy. I love them. I tried them on that video. So if you guys want to see me wearing them, I'll leave it linked here. But yeah, gorgeous pants. So, so comfy. Again, I feel like I can wear them throughout like many different seasons and like style them in very different ways um but yeah i love them and again they're kind of new so definitely keeping them okay next pair is a pair of shorts these are as you guys can probably remember the same print as the three dresses that i showed you guys but in shorts format these i got last year same time that i wore that i got the dress that i showed you um, and these, I believe, are the Rome shorts from the sun. I have these in a size 36, and the other pants are also a size 36. Um, and yeah, I love these. I've worn them so, so much. They're so comfy. I feel like they are really cool. They go with a lot of stuff. And I wear these a lot. Like, I can dress them down with, like, the tank top body that I showed you guys in the beginning, or, like, maybe wear a nicer top with it. But yeah, absolutely love these. Then we have this other pair of shorts, which is also from Cezanne, and I got this last year as well. I believe this, these are called the Kenny shorts, but these are kind of like this denim material, but um, it has this really pretty flower print, and then it has like these really cute pockets in the front of the, of the shorts. These are so cute, so comfy. Again, I like to wear these a lot when I have something a little bit more casual and then this is the back it has like a little pocket um but yeah i wear this a ton as well with like just tank top or like a t-shirt whatever but yeah i really really like these as well and then in that same print i have these pair of jeans and these are again also from the sun i believe these are called le crop and this is a print that came out last year for summer for them. And these I have in size 36. And even though it's the same size as the other pants, these barely fit me. 
like I can maybe squeeze into them and I did wear them once like a couple months ago and they fit but like it, it, it like it's quite tight I don't know why but like I've kept holding on to them because I feel like if I slim down I'll be able to wear them but uh, they're just so pretty and I feel like it, they're so unique as well and they go really well with a couple of different things that I have so I don't want to let them go but I was also not able to find them in another sh like size because when the summer archives this year came out it was for this collection like and I tried to get these in the size 38 just so I would be able to like sell these ones but still have the jeans and I wasn't able to get them they were like sold out like immediately and yeah so I'm still holding on to these trying to see if like one day I'll be able to like wear them a little bit more comfortably again but yeah I really really love these so yeah that's my other pair of jeans okay now we have a skirt so this one is also from design but this one is from their collab with farm rio that they did last summer i do have quite a couple of things from that collab so this is supposed to be a kind of wrap skirt so you you basically like tie it like like i'll show you guys like quite quickly so you basically like put it like that like this and then like tie it actually where's the hole it has like a little hole actually where it goes through and then you tie it anyway let's say i tie it like this it's not meant to go like this but let's say i tie it like this um this is basically what it would look like i really love this skirt i feel like it's so unique as well and i love the flower print i love that it has like the the whole paris rio thing going on I just really, really love this skirt. I wear it a really, um, I wear it a ton. And since it's a wrap skirt, it's so versatile. I feel like it would fit me always. Hopefully, it will fit me always. Oh, okay, I found a loop now. Um, it's meant to go here. Yeah, so that way you don't have like a gap. Um, but yeah, I love the skirt so much. I love that it's adjustable. I love the print of it. So it just says we're Paris Rio all over. It's super, super comfy. I wear it with a bunch of stuff and it's basically like the statement piece. So I can wear this with like what, any of the white tops that I have. Although I usually wear it with the Zimmerman one and it just looks so, so pretty, so comfy. Absolutely love it. Then I have this other skirt, also from Zazan and Farm Rio. Um, and this one, oh, I have this upside down. <laughs> This one, I don't remember the style of it, like what it's called, but again, I just love the print so, so much. It's so comfy. It fits really, really well. This one's also in a size 36, and I believe the other skirt is also in a 36. Um, yeah, I love this. Like, look at that print. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? I love this. I also wear it a lot with, like, the white top. That's why I have so many white tops, because I have so many, like, print bottoms so kind of like my go-to kind of um outfit formula is like print at the bottom and then plain at the top <laughs> so yeah have those and i love that print so much that i have a pants as well these are kind of wrinkled because they just came out of um the laundry and i haven't seen them yet but i think you guys have already seen me wear these in a video so am i weak out this video actually but yeah, I also love these. These are also in a size 36 and these fit me perfectly. They are so, so comfy and I love them again because they're a little bit more statement, but they are incredible. I love, love, love them. So yeah, we'll absolutely be keeping. And then the last thing, finally, is this skirt. And this skirt breaks my heart. This is one of my favorite skirts ever i've had this since i was like 15 at least maybe younger and right now i can zip it up but it's like too short for me but i love this skirt like it's just perfect this is from zara and i believe this is a size yeah it's an extra small um and it's just so many like it barely 
like covers my bum anymore but I just can't bear to part with it because it's just so pretty. I feel like if I slimmed down a little bit I would be able to wear this because unfortunately when I gain weight I gain weight more like here like in this area and the bum area so like I know that if my bum wasn't as big as it is right now I would be able to still fit in this and like get away with it like being so short and stuff and I also love the skirt with like the corset that I showed you guys this one like this outfit is just incredible for me and I haven't been able to wear it in like a couple years now which is so sad oh can't get the scent back back in anymore which is so sad and I've been trying to also find like a replacement for it but I've just never seen something that's like as good as this one this one just fits like I don't know it just fits differently and it's also like kind of velvety like it's just like velvet like burgundy it's just perfect I love the little buckle detail as well like on the sides it's like so basic you probably are like bro it's just a skirt calm down but like you guys don't understand like i've tried to track down this exact skirt never been able to find it like uh, i just i need this in a bigger size like i really really do but yeah so this i can't bear to part with anymore even though it doesn't fit me that well but yeah i need to find a replacement for it but yeah those are basically all of my pants. I'm not going to show you the ones that I have on now or the black version because I just did a try and haul with those and I, I feel like these pants are more like fall wintery but yeah this is basically everything I think for my summer wardrobe that I wanted to declutter. I feel like the only thing that I want to show you guys that I think I'm also going to declutter is a pair of shoes and it's these shoes so these i got from primark a couple years ago when i was in london um last time i was in england so um yeah i think that was two years ago wow um the same time that i went i got the zara top and these were like last ones that were there they were like my size i was like oh my god and obviously they are like like the mac and mac ones and I thought I was going to wear them a ton, <laughs> but I haven't. And sometimes, like, the pointed toe, I find a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so, yeah, they're, like, my size, but, like, very snug. So, I feel like I can probably part with these. I have had them for, again, two years now. I feel like I've only worn them out, like, twice in those two years. So, they're basically, like, brand, brand new, like... So yeah, I think uh, it's time for me to try and sell these. But yeah, other than that, I feel like this is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, leave a little clothing emoji in the comments or just let me know <laughs> because I know this video is super long. Let me know as well if you guys are interested in seeing um, this type of video again, like if you want me to do a fall winter declutter once it like comes to that if you want to see a sort of hoodies t-shirts declutter because I have a huge t-shirt collection um just so you guys know I had like a phase where I loved like graphic t-shirts so I have like quite a bit of them including this one so let me know if you want to see more content like this um in the comments and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it because you guys don't know how much I've suffered making this video this is so much harder than I thought I was gonna be and I've been filming this for a week already now so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it subscribe if um, you want to see more content like this and yeah like the video if you enjoyed it comment it always helps me a lot and yeah I'll get out of here so this video doesn't have to be as long thank you <laughs> bye